Hello, my name is Dr. Rob Young. I'm a business psychologist and a coach at a consultancy called Talent Space. And I'd like to talk to you about how you can manage worry. So first of all, worry is not always a bad thing. Several studies show that worry can actually be quite beneficial in some ways. For example, people who worry about their health are more likely to go for checkups. So they may actually avoid diseases and become more healthy as a result. And in the workplace, worry can be a motivating force. For example, before a big presentation or an important job interview, it can encourage you to do more preparation and rehearsal to get a better result. However, if you feel that you are affected by excessive worry, then there are techniques that you can use. For example, one of them is simply to write your fears and worries down, to write your thoughts and feelings down. And we know this works because of a study done a few years ago by some researchers at the University of Chicago. So the researchers were following a group of people doing a big maths test. So just before the test, the uh, entire group was split into two smaller groups. One group was asked to spend a few minutes before the test writing about their thoughts and feelings. So some people wrote, for example, about how anxious or worried they felt, Others wrote about specific thoughts, for example, that they were going to make a terrible mistake or how failing the test might impact their future career. The second group were asked to write about an unrelated and unemotional topic. The researchers found that when the, all of the groups took this test, that those who had written down their thoughts and feelings actually performed more than 15% better than those who had written about an unrelated and unemotional event. So the reason this probably works is that it reduces the rate at which negative thoughts intrude on your mind while you're trying to do your performance. So whether it's a test that you're doing, a written exam, or a job interview, or a presentation, quite often those worries will come into your mind, but by writing them down on paper, you help to remove some of them from your mind. So do think about this technique before a big test or event. Just spend a few minutes writing down your honest thoughts and feelings. And remember, no one else has to read this. This is just for you. Now, as I said, worry can sometimes be a motivating force uh, when you can do something about it. But there are often times when it's pointless to worry. So imagine that you have been to hospital for a medical checkup and you're just waiting for the results or you've been for that important job interview and you're waiting to hear the decision. In those situations, it is literally pointless to worry, but research shows that people tend to worry less when they have three factors in place, which are called the CAR factors, which relate to competence, autonomy, and relatedness. So in practical terms, one thing that you can do is to build your competence in the short term. So focus on building your skills and your knowledge. So perhaps this is about reading an article that you've set aside on some topic that's interesting and important to you, or reading a non-fiction book on economics or politics or history. But it doesn't have to be just about developing your work-related skills. Think about developing any skill or activity that's meaningful to you. So this could be about increasing your fitness, perhaps improving a sporting skill or a hobby, or even cooking a recipe that you've identified that, yes, it's going to be a challenge and you'd like to conquer that small challenge. So remember, developing your competence is about finding fairly short-term things that you can do uh, in order to boost your skills and your knowledge. Another area is to boost your autonomy. So this is by focusing on things that you genuinely want to do and enjoy doing as opposed to doing the things that you feel that you should be doing or you, 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 know, you must do. So perhaps this is about rereading a favourite fiction book of yours or watching that box set that actually you're looking forward to watching or doing anything that you find enjoyable that you actually want to do rather than doing all of those chores and tasks that you think you, know, you really should be doing because they're good for you or helpful to other people. A final thing that you can do is to focus on building up your sense of relatedness. So that's your sense of social connection 
to your friends and family. So people that you either care for or you know who care for you. So just spend more time drawing upon friends and family. Because again, the research shows that when you're spending time with other people, you enjoy their companionship and you're probably going to worry less. So, in summary, worry can be a positive motivating force. It can encourage you to do more planning and preparation. However, if you feel that you are ever affected by excessive amounts of worry or that it's pointless to worry, then do bear in mind that there are things that you can do about it.